Oh, okay. Okay, everybody. It is so great to have you join us today on our The Aging Experts. Uh, as you know, we have a couple of different podcasts, and this is our one that specifically deals with making the second half of your life better than the first. And we are going to show you some different ways to, to do that. We have a guest on today that has some really unique uh, ways to help your brain stay healthy and working, you know, especially if you've spent so much time in your chair at the computer at your desk, whatever, over all these years. It, it's really exciting uh, to see, you know, see our guest that Barbara brought to the table today. And as you know, I'm Carol Henderson. I have Life by Design. Uh, I work with people to help them up their nutritional IQ, get better suited for the things that they need to do in life. And it, you're not supposed to die old and tired and in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. So you, God gives us 120 years, go look it up, Genesis six. So uh, 120 years, how, how close are we there? You know, we're just coming into middle age. Exactly. So, yeah. So anyway, Barbara, tell them about what you do. Hi, I'm Barbara Ellison and you know, I'm, I'm a transformational life trainer. And it has just been amazing to me to help people to just realize that aging is a number. It, and, and aging gracefully doesn't mean you have to be, you know, be a, go back to being a 30 year old, but it does mean being your best ever self. And that's physically having physical fitness, mental fitness. And so those are the things that we're going to be talking about today to just be the best ever. Uh, because I truly believe, I mean, like fine wine, you know, you, you always hear the saying like fine wine, we improve with age. Yes. Well, you know what? We can, we can do that. That is possible, but we just need to know how to do it. And that's what this show is all about to bring you tips, strategies, the 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 new things that are out there of yes. how to age gracefully yes so much knowledge there is, is increasing so much knowledge out there well yes. people are asking questions right. how can i age more gracefully well guess what they are coming up with a lot of different answers well and, and we're not going we silently into the night we are into the we night going to be young to the very end. So I'm hoping that you brought your drink today. It is Wednesday afternoon, but I hope that you brought your, your drink. Uh, I have a different cup than I do in the mornings. So Barbara, did you bring your drink? And did I you do. And drink? it's still, I, cause I drink cold stuff. So it's just, well, yeah. I would have had cold today, but it's cold here in Texas. Uh, we've had rain, rain, rain uh, here at my house all over an inch overnight. And it was a slow, gentle rain all night long. So it's only in the 60s. And so I have a hot drink this afternoon other than like tea that I usually we'll let you. So anyway. But anyways, but I, I get to introduce my friend Ann Metcalf. Anne and I have known each other for several years. We've done several things together. And it was like the, last week we were chit-chatting. And it was like, she's, oh, I'm doing this new thing. I said, well, guess what? We need to have you, you know, my mission, you know, one of the things I'll backtrack just slightly. Um, year, years ago, it was like, you know, everybody says, oh yeah, what's your purpose? You know, how's it, what, you know, what's your purpose? And, you know, we need to have a purpose. And I always thought a purpose had to be something just this huge, grandiose, big thing. And once I realized that having a purpose was just something, could be something so simple. And for me, it's just three parts, serve God, learn, and then teach others what I learned. Well, guess what? Last week, and taught me about this so guess what you're learning it this week because that's how that is so important what are we what can we learn because you know what you never ever stop learning well you shouldn't and stop learning we should some not people stop. Do. some people do but you know what those those of us that want to stay vibrant and healthy and mental and have mental fitness continue to learn be yeah. a lifelong learner it will impact every area of your life yes. 
Yes. Absolutely. So, and I am so happy that you are here, fellow Canadian. And you know, well, you can, you can introduce yourself, where you live, how you got to be where you are. And I am just so grateful that I know you. No, no. Oh, Birds thank you, Canada. Barbara. Thank you so much. I'm Ann Metcalf, and I live in Delta, British Columbia. And my focus in the recent years has been conscious eating, conscious living. And I'm a school teacher or substitute school teacher. And we are and need to be lifelong learners mm -hmm. because there's just so much information out there. And yeah, I, I've actually I started this new program. I, I took a certification and I'm going, whoa, let's do this. I'm a children's book author and other things and I'm going well let's do one more thing and it's a program Why not? that just fits in perfectly with what you've been talking about and it's called ageless grace you know we talk about aging gracefully and this whole program is about working on that the brain neuroplasticity and the brain working with your body so that you're doing these exercises in a chair to stimulate the brain because the brain's trying to figure out what are you doing, chasing, pretending to be a giraffe or playing a violin in a chair. And, you know, as, as uh, Barb and I talked about, your brain doesn't know the difference. Right. And I have a question. I, I want some, something to clarify for our readers because or listeners, yeah. because everybody might not know the term neuroplasticity. Ah, and that's yeah. the neuroplasticity. I mean, basically, it's the whole system of your neurons firing. And just as you've been talking about, we don't need to get old and decrepit. Mm -hmm. That comes from lack of using your brain and using your physical body. And so that neuroplasticity is where the neurons are constantly firing and they snap, crackle, pop. And we want them to do that until I guess it's God says, okay, your time's up <laughs> when we're getting close to 120. And, and so that, that yeah. So and that, one of the things that I heard that, and this is, this is not from any one company, but it's from the medical community. Uh, and that they said that by the year 2035, that's not that far away, mm -hmm. that they're going to double the age expectancy. Well, the age expectancy here is 72. So that they're saying if they double it, that's at least 140. And for those of us that are really embracing mental fitness, physical fitness, spiritual fitness. Nutritional are, IQ. Nu nutritional IQ, exactly. Um, that we are going to be the ones that are going to reap the benefits that we're going to live to be 150 and beyond. And at 72, I truly believe right at this moment, I am just barely into middle age, barely into middle age, because I feel better now in my 70s than I did in my 40s. And it is amazing. Okay, and go ahead and finish telling us about this, because yep. I would love to try one of them. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's well, tell it. You got it. Been in my music with me. It's on my my phone, but I record music uh, with copyright permission, of course. And so you're sitting in a chair, and we could just do. I mean, a simple one is being a uh, front row orchestra. And so you're sitting in your chair, and it needs to be a chair with four sturdy legs, not a rocking chair, and preferably not a couch, because you want your body. First of all, you want support of the back of the chair. Your feet are always on the ground, except when you're doing uh, rock and rockets and we're, we are rocking, uh, pretending we are those rockets in line, all kicking together. I mean, it, it, you make it so much fun and you need to laugh at yourself. I mean, there's one called gentle geometry that gets my brain going because you have to draw a picture, do, do a, a triangle with one hand, and then maybe you're making a circle with your nose. We can just try that. So make a circle with your nose. 
and then draw a triangle. <laughs> and I find that one. Oh, that, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. Yeah, my, my triangle that, turned into a circle for a minute. My triangle exactly. turned exactly. into a circle. The brain, the brain wants to do that. So I just do two geometric shapes with that one. And so you're using your feet to draw the different a shape, and you're using a different part of your body to draw another shape. And that's what you sometimes you can get your belly button to do a circle <laughs> while your hand is doing a triangle. And see, for me, that one's easier. I can do it, just do a circle oh, I can't with even belly start. button. And then while well, I'm looking, creating a triangle in the frame that I'm looking at. <laughs> Oh, okay. And, Maybe that would help. Yeah. So it's just, I'm making a triangle in the zoom frame. Oh no, I'm going in circles. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, wow. what you do is you don't give up because right. it takes that That's three exciting. minutes for oh. the, the brain, the neurons to go, oh, okay. And it's okay to make a mistake. And that's where you get to laugh at yourself and you don't give up. And you just say, okay, all right. My brain wants to do circles with both hands and I'm trying to do a triangle or a square with another one. And you just keep working at it. So and you then, want to work at it until you can do it. Well, yes and no. Uh, because you might do that for say 30 seconds and then you say, okay, that's enough. And now I'm gonna draw a square with one hand and then I'm gonna draw a circle with my foot. And automatically, my hand goes into a circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're training your brain, and you're getting those neurons fired. So this, I mean, I did a 21-day challenge. And so it's you're not going to get a, a, a notice a big difference in 21 days. This is something that Denise Medved recommends you do every day. She gets up every morning. Wow. And she does 10 minutes, three different, three different exercises each morning. And you can so put on about three, three minutes, minutes each exercise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that, so that gives you about uh, just under 10 minutes. And that's probably enough for your brain, especially, I mean, some of them like spaghetti spine, you're just, you're just moving your hands and you're moving your elbows and you're sitting in the chair and Somebody watches this with no sound. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you've got this the rip roaring music. You can put 50s, 60s, 70s music on, and then you you know you're moving your head. That and the other day, good. I pretended <laughs> I pretended I was actually in a spaghetti pot. So I was smearing tomato sauce all <laughs> over me oh. and all over my legs. And so I was this. I was the spaghetti. And I mean, it's so much fun. And so these different exercises, um, they're different. So you could just, I, it comes with a, a deck of cards. And so what I do now, now that the 21 day challenge is over, it's also actually on my app. So if anybody, any of your listeners wants to watch, I've got posted about mm, nine days worth of these exercises. I record them on Zoom, put them on my Facebook page, and they're also on my app, uh, Authentic Sacred Design. And oh, you I'll just have to look. I have your app. Yeah. And so now, now my challenge is now that that's over. So I pick three cards. I go. Okay, today is going to be dance party, get down, get up, and team fit. So team fit can be any sport. You know, you could be playing soccer. So you're running in your chair, and then you're kicking the ball, and then you're the crowd cheering because you've scored a goal. And so you are all these different players in each team. And dance party, you just put on some, I don't know, John Travolta music or whatever you want. Oh, I put on the twist. The twist, and you are just moving, yes. staying in your chair, and you're always mindful so when you're leaning forward, because some of these exercises, you're leaning forward so you can touch your toes sitting in the chair. So you need to make sure that you've got one foot forward so that you're balanced because you don't want to be falling off the chair. That would not serve. <laughs> We're going to practice falling off the chair today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so that that's uh, for me, and I'm very excited because I'm going to take it into schools, and I'm going to look up my uh, nearest com uh, maybe community center and senior center and say, hey, do you want to try something new to uh, offer it to these seniors who come in for drop-in sessions? And half an hour, 45 minutes is probably loads because you are moving and you actually, some of them, like dance party, three minutes of just jiving and moving your body, you're kicking your legs and the rock and rockets one where you are, you're kicking your feet or you could be rocky running up the stairs and running <laughs> down the <laughs> <a stairs. laughs> Right, you know, and you got that. So there's, um, there's a different variety and there's, people on that posted on YouTube and Facebook. So there's lots, there's I think 3,500 teachers worldwide. And the amazing thing is what Denise is saying is that you could be sitting in a wheelchair and still be an educator, still teach others. Right. Because sitting in the chair lowers or sort of evens out, sorry, the playing field of anybody teaching it. Um, so it's really great that way. So oh, yeah, okay. I'm just excited. And thank you so much for allowing me to come and talk about this Ageless Grace program. So give um, us the name of your app so we can go to the app store. Okay. It's called Authentic Sacred Design. Yeah, I have and, it. And the image should look like this. You should see an image with that. You should see that image. Yep. And then you, then you go to the hamburger menu bar, those three. Uh, so you, when you have to sort of download the app. It doesn't cost anything for your viewers. And you go to the three hamburger menu bar uh -huh. and then list of things. And you go to tips and posts. And if you go to tips and posts, you'll see Ageless Grace, I think number 11 to number 21. So each one of those will have different combinations of me doing the exercises. Okay, so is Authentic Sacred Design your app or is it the company app that you were certified under? No, it's my app. It's your personal app. Wow, yeah. okay. He's got whole bunches of fun stuff on it. How fun. Yeah, healthy eating, healthy food, uh, beautiful uh, design, yeah. jewelry, jewelry wow. spices, how to heat spices. I mean, if you want the most delicious coriander powder ever, make your own. I have um, a bunch of coriander seeds too. Ah, uh, then you just put them in a pan, no, no oil, heat them up, medium. For a few minutes. Like roast them? Roast them in a frying pan without any oil. Okay. And when they start changing color, that's about when they're ready. And then you put them in a, I've got a, a coffee grinder, an mm -hmm. old coffee grinder. You yeah. blend them up. And oh my gosh, it's just, if you could just smell the aroma of these fresh roasted coriander seeds. And you put so that in your food. Yeah, that you eat just, I mean, is it a snack or do you use it for spice or? Use it for a spice. Okay. Yeah. And so it's just spice and you can sprinkle that on all your rice. Um, I, I sprinkle on a lot of food. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so there's different things for your viewers to have a, a poke around. And yes. Well, I've got, got it. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Cool. Well, thank you. That is that is just really. So these resources, these are people you work with. These are people that I've met basically in the last two and a half years, okay. and they're all experts on different things. Okay. And some are health related. Some are um, are physical fitness. That's where I, I, Kathy Hicks, who is my online. Uh, physical fitness you know we want to be healthy she's there five days a week teaching low impact which I think is good for 
Well, certainly, I think older people, you don't want to be yeah. really running marathons. I walk half marathons, but I don't run. And we need, she does teach Yamana, foot fitness, and this new brain fitness. And you want to have somebody who can, cares about you. It's, you know, she's concerned about, you know, if your shoulder's sore, don't do this. It's like when we're doing exercises, if it's painful, your body's talking to you. Mm -hmm. So don't do it. And the same thing with the chair exercises. All these 21, I'm doing, I'm moving my shoulder. But if your shoulder won't move, then you don't do that. You just will yes. just make an adaptation to it. And so that's the kind of the, the neat thing about this is you go at your own pace and your own ability. What it, what's comfort? What's comfortable? And you don't don't do crazy things because then you have to take a little extra rest to recuperate. <laughs> so I've been doing it for 20, well, I started 20, 23 days I've been doing it. And I just sometimes I'm I'm going, oh, I think I'm remembering that a little better. And sometimes some thoughts come in a bit quicker. So I'm going, I'm I'm sold on this ageless grace. And if you go to the Ageless Grace website, um, uh, Denise Medved, she's got different YouTube videos. And so that if your, your viewers want to watch, she's got a 12-minute video where she goes through all 21. And mm -hmm. she explains, because each one, they all work on the neuroplasticity, but some of them work on your head, neck, and shoulders, some of your hips. So she's got such a wide variety that it's actually, there's 26, it's 26 muscle groups and sort of body parts that she's working and getting you to work with. And all that takes is that willingness. Right, right Barbara? Okay. Just be willing to, can you put out 10 minutes? I mean, how many people stand in line waiting for their coffee at a coffee shop and or whatever it is and or you're fiddling around just I mean I know sometimes I get lost on the computer and you know Denise does it first thing in the morning and it gets you energized right get you energized ready for the day you've done your physical fitness you've done your brain health and your body health and you know mm -hmm. what it's up to us right exactly Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, she's got yeah. a lot of videos on here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like Carol and I talk about so often is that you can spiral up or you can spiral down. So if you start to, if you do not take care of your brain health, your physical health, your body is going to be spiraling down. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what hap is happening to so many people. Their health is just going out the window. And in fact, and it's so funny because this morning in church, that's one of the things that our pastor was talking about today. Like we are responsible, are making better choices. You have a better life. Mm -hmm. And part of that is making choices about your health and your fit. And that's what he was, one of the things that he was talking about is that so much of what's happening within us starts in our brain and parts of our brain is are atrophying from lack of use. Oh yeah. 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 Use it or lose it. Use and it that was one of my mom's favorite sayings. And oh, even the it? day she died, she did puzzles and, and, you know, crossword puzzles and things like that. Uh, and after my dad passed, she came and worked in my office because I still had the modeling agency open. And she came up there and worked. <laughs> and one day she said something to Keith complaining to him. He goes, well, it's her office, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and stuff. But it gave her things to do, you know, and, and kept her kept her out of the house and doing and, and uh, you know, up until when she actually, you know, got very ill, she yeah. was there at the office and, you know, it, it just, it kept, it kept her healthy and moving and alive a lot longer than she would have. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like my dad, he lived in a high rise residence 
There was like, I think 13, 13 floors. And every day he went and visited on every floor. Wow. Yeah. I mean, even, even if he was, if he only spent 10 or 15 minutes on each floor, he did it yeah. because he met different people. They talked about different things. They talked about whatever he did yeah. Tai Chi and he lived to be, a, I only lost my dad four years ago. He was 102. Oh, yeah. And it was because of what we're talking about right now. He yeah. was a lifelong learner. He played, he was like Harold's mom, played puzzles every day, did stuff every day. We Every Friday he went to the dance. They had a dance in the residence. And so every Friday, I think Tuesdays and Fridays, they had a dance. He went to the dance to listen to the music and it was like, it is so important. And that was one of the things that he always said. Yes. And something that Denise uh, mentions, and it's part of her story, was that her mother did puzzles all mm -hmm. her life. And she mm -hmm. ended up with dementia. Yeah. Her father uh, did some of that, but he was more into the physical fitness. And she tried to put these things together, which is how she came up with this program, Ageless Grease. So it's the puzzles are great, but not when you're sitting in your chair. And oh, doing yeah. Right. yeah. And what your dad did, Barbara, was perfect because he was exercising, getting that yeah. blood flow yeah. to the he head. Chair to the yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And That's even exciting. just the act of hitting the elevator buttons, it, he, he, you know, he did things in on the elevator buttons. It was like, okay, dad. Yeah, whatever. And it was. Like, <laughs> and he lived to be 102. He was ahead of his time because he was doing. Because he was ahead like, of his time. Yeah. You know, you pretend to play the piano and you're doing that to exercise your fingers. Mm -hmm. Because we forget about mm -hmm. these different joints. And when we're, people are on the computer a lot, um, yes. we forget about the, the stretching that we need to do. So some of right. the exercises are geared for the wrists and the shoulders yeah. so it gets all parts of the body yeah right and one of the things that i do to exercise my brain is i write with my opposite hand and you about? wouldn't believe i i tell people they do what uh, right but i can't do that exactly you start <laughs> learning yeah start start and i've been doing that for oh 30 years with my opposite hand if i'm just sitting doodling or something i'll do it with my opposite hand yeah. it is so good for your brain because it's yes. creating you, neural pathways yeah. were you Especially. born a lefty me yeah no i'm no i'm right-handed because my mom was born a lefty and she it's not like something she remembered but back then they made you oh, do with your they right made hand. and you. so she yes. she could write equally well with both hands but right. she thinks it was because she was born a lefty and was made to, right. and so she she right switch hand. off all the time about that yeah. so yeah of course writing of was like beautiful that. she learned the palmer method and it was mm. absolutely gorgeous but mm. i would have to go sometimes with her her list of things i was supposed to get at the store because we lived down down the way where I could walk down to the little grocery store and drugstore and I'd have to go to the pharmacist to read it sometimes <laughs> so, <laughs> it was beautiful but it was not always uh yeah easy right. to read oh and now that and now people can't write no kids that I know so many teenagers that when they would they now that now they have finally put back into my into schools around here they have finally put back cursive Yes, they're teaching cursive, yeah. but there's a whole generation of kids that do, do not know how to write. My grandkids, and they can't read yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In fact, I wrote a card to my my grandson that turned eighteen this last year, and uh, wrote it to him, and he couldn't read it. I had to read it to him. Uh, oh, but God. I will say, I was reading it, and I'm like, now what did I write there? <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop and read my own writing, which is, is fairly pretty. Barbara has beautiful writing that's easy to read. Mine varies between my mom's <laughs> regular writing. <laughs> yeah, mine's a bit like that. Thank I... you for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd never seen your writing after all these years. I'd never seen it until we were on this trip. 
I don't I don't know why when we've been together before I had maybe just the time together. So, right. uh, yeah. and you know, it's interesting. One of the exercises that Denise created was it's called spelling bee. So you pick a word like sunshine and you start spelling it with the uppercase letters and you use all the different parts of your body. So S and then a U and then the N with your belly button and a, another S with your shoulder. And then because you're doing it for three minutes, then you take your hand and right hand cursive sunshine, left hand cursive sunshine, and then you do it with your feet. Oh, wow. So you're drawing on the floor cursive with your feet. And so, oh, it, wow. yeah. I'm so, going to have to try that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and one thing that's fun that got, would be fun to do in your thing is, have you ever taken sparklers and written in cursive in the air? Yes. That I mom did. did that all the time, but she could write, write backwards to where as you're standing facing her, you could read it. And wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Oh, very good. That, I mean, that is a very, it, that's a good example of neuroplasticity, being right. able to do that. Yeah, I, I think I can do that. Yeah, so looking, I'd have to see the word and then look at that. Right. Yeah. And because if you're going sunshine and you're writing backwards, and especially if it's cursive, You'd have to be doing the cursive mm -hmm. backwards as right. well. Yeah, I, my right. my brain would keep wanting to switch it so that I'm writing it as if I was writing it right left to right. But when you're doing it backwards, you're going from right to left. Yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It a is. friend, it is. a friend, a gal that I went to school with on a blackboard, she could write with both hands the same like this and she can do it on a blackboard like i can write my oh, name yeah. like that yeah but she could literally write write sentences with both wow, How do you do wow. that? on a blackboard she can do it on a blackboard yeah i'm going to add that to my spelling bee yeah. um repertoire. Exercise. <laughs> my repertoire so that we are yeah yeah Doing so like, I can do it with my name because it's a mirror, Barbara. Yeah. But on a blackboard, it's like, I, I yeah. Interesting because the, the, the tactile, the touching. The yeah. It's something with the touching. And of she course, can just write everything like that. I only have three letters in my first name. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only have five. So it makes it easy. Well, okay. We're going to have to post some of your stuff in the links down below. But what last words do you have for, for our... Oh, you know what? Everything that you're talking about, it's um, aging gracefully. And you can do that 10 minutes a day with these ageless grease exercises. And... You know, when you think youthful, right. you are. So you is are the youthful. app the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, the app is. I mean, I've got an email I can give people. Uh, uh, if it's whatever. If the app is the best way, uh, you know, yeah. it's however you want to do that. Yeah, if they okay. can uh, connect through the app. And uh, my, I, I can give them my, the other choice is the email. They want to contact me. Okay. Well, go ahead and tell them and I can write oh, it. Okay. So it's Rosie's Joy and that's R O S I E S J O Y 11 at gmail.com. Okay. Roy, yeah. Rosie's Joy 11 Rosie's at Joy. gmail. Okay. Yeah. So they can email me or look at my app and uh, yeah, have fun and play with it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Barbara, last, last thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, it's a choice. Every day, every day you have the choice. Yes. And I just really encourage you to 10 minutes. We spend 10 minutes on doing silly stuff. Yeah. I know I do. Yeah. So do something that's really productive for your brain because it's the only one you've got. 
So true. let's work on it. And, then, and that's true. This is the only brain, the only body that you're going to ever have. Uh, so definitely take care of it. And, you know, it goes back into your thoughts, your words, everything goes back into this. And, uh, you know, Barbara, Barbara said something just now that made me think of a, a famous quote, but I can't remember what to quote it was. I mean, who the quote was, but, you know, it, it is so true. So you, you need to work. That sounds kind of bad, but you need to work at keeping yourself healthy, at doing the right. best you can to spiral your life up and not down. So watch your words, move, watch what you eat you know, up your nutrition IQ that nothing's going to work as well if your body's not nourished. So definitely look into that. We, we have ways to help you do way better than that. And it's all scientifically backed. And uh, as you know, we've talked about it on some of these uh, shows, but tell your friends about this, share, uh, like, you know, tell, bring people to the table people you love, bring them to the table. So thank you so much for joining us today. And we will see you next week. Okay, bye, everybody. Have bye, y'all. Thank you. Bye.